Hello everyone, it's your girl Allie and I'm back again today with another video for you guys. So today I'm going to actually be doing a nail fill in on my nails as you guys can see i do have a lot of new growth on my nail now so we're gonna do another fill in and as you can see none of my nails had fell off i don't have to do no replacement um so yeah we're gonna fill these nails in and we're gonna chit chat you guys and also welcome those of you who are new to my channel welcome 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 you guys so we're gonna dive in on that and I'm gonna get everything set up, you guys. Also, we're gonna chat. We're gonna chat while I do my nails. All right, so let's go ahead and get set up together. All right. Um let's see you guys. Let's get you guys a little light here. One second. All right, you guys. A little bit more light here for you guys. So. Let me set up here. I'm going to use a little bag over this because, you guys, I am a paper towel. And I'm going to use what I have, okay? So. All right. First of all. The first thing you want to do, because you need a fill-in and so forth. Let's just straighten up here. All right. First, I do have this for kit. So we're going to get all of this situated here. Second of all, you want to make sure a cuticle pusher. I have a nail brush. Oh, acrylic brush, sorry, guys. Okay, then we have your dapping dish, so we definitely need that. And you need a buffer. You need a, a dust brush. This is the dust brush, you need that. I have a top base and a base coat. I have a nail file. You definitely need a nail file as well. And the color that I'm actually going to be using as well. Here. All right. And um, because I don't have I don't have any cuticle to no um cuticle to nip off, but we do have to push back the cuticle. So I don't have to do that because we already did that before and I don't have anything that grew out on here, which I did check before, okay? But you definitely, um, when you go into it, you do have to go into this part and cut off the cuticle part, the uh, cuticle right here. Yeah, they got that off. But of course, I don't have to do that because I, my nails are pretty good right there. So pretty much you definitely will need one of these cuticle nipper and cuticle push to, to push your cuticle back all right then you have to decide do you want to style with your nails once you put once you get put those on so i will take my rounds these little round stones i will pick one of these out of here one of these we'll figure out something that no, this is how you get it set up. Put everything that you want on a side, you guys. Okay, so I do have more of these. So you definitely could take this off. You do have to put new ones on. Now, for those of you who who are familiar, not familiar with these, uh, to take off these, you can. Let's see if I can find. I have stuff everywhere, you guys. So bear with me. Okay. 
So what I do usually, I'll just pull it off like this. But if you have a nail clipper and so forth, you basically can go from this part of this right here and actually rip it, like pull that part and it will unravel itself off of here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get new ones. Sometimes it's really hard to get off so you can get it off that way. This one's going to be hard, so... We're not going to worry about that because we're not going to actually use that one. So we're going to go ahead and trash that. All right. Now, I am going to use this one. I'm going to dive into the nails. So we're going to go ahead and get one of these. Oh, uh, Lord. Being silly today as I am. Anyways, let's get started. All right, you guys. As you can see now, I'm getting ready to show you guys. Next step that I'm getting ready to do. Okay, I just had to adjust the camera a little bit. Sorry, you guys. All right, so... With this drill, and we're gonna change out the the bid and put this one in with the coarse band, and we're gonna use this band. So before we use this band, of course, I will like to show you guys how to get rid of the sharp ends of the band. You definitely want to make sure you do that before you do any of your clients' hand. For yourself because you don't want to cut yourself so basically I'm basically getting rid of the sharp edges on there all right and now I put another nail band on it this one is coarse as well but this is not a band it's the actual uh, nail um, bid sorry you guys I'm just like all over um, tongue twisted as well all right, so we're gonna go ahead and start using the bonding acrylic liquid. This is the container that it comes in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead before anything and go ahead and drill the nail all, um, drill the color off the nails. Um, so if your right hand, you're gonna do forward because your your e file has the forward and reverse button. So you're gonna keep it on forward if you're right-handed or left-handed, because some people are left-handed, so you might as well keep it on forward. And the opposite um, hand, you're gonna put it on reverse, make it a little easier for you. So basically, right here. I'm going to go ahead and remove, I'm going to clean up the cuticle and remove the polish from the nails as well. Um, in some cases, I'll, I'll actually remove the nail by using just the, the coarse uh, band. But I just want to show you guys how I'm actually removing it with this drill. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, mm -mm -mm. so while I'm showing you guys that, just wanted to just chit chat with you guys, let you guys know that I do have another video coming after this one, which is for Sunday and Sunday, I'm planning to show y'all a little something different with creating a wig and I'm gonna let it be a surprise for you guys so definitely 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 check that out um and tune in for tomorrow so that's the band that I was telling you that the course band that I'll be using to go back over it now so just wanted you to see it so yes definitely gonna be doing that and I have some more new things that I have learned and been working on and I wanted to show you guys I'm going to show you guys that too so just wanted to let you guys know the upcoming week uh, what else I have up my sleeve just a little inside of it not a whole lot because I want to spoil a surprise of course I don't want to do that um you guys so yeah
and I'm just going to go ahead and do the opposite hand basically the same thing follow it doing the same thing on this hand that I did on the other hand cleaning up the cuticle and so forth and don't be afraid to get close to the cuticle to clean it up most of the time when we're um for those of you who are already familiar with it and those of you who are not familiar with it don't be afraid if you just learn with the, the, the drill just you know basically take your time and work with the drill and go in it the way that it is it, it wouldn't um cause that much i ain't gonna say cause a lot of damage but of course it can so just be gentle as you as you do it but also if the further back you go like how i'm basically just how you see how i'm doing it you can go in and don't be afraid to go down just bring it back a little bit and hold you can hold the sides of the wall of your finger to get all where you can't you think that you can't get with the drill and when you get all the way in the back it basically will take off more than you think that it will and it will clean it up good now if you're afraid to do that just use the cuticle pusher um and then go back in it you can definitely do what i'm doing with the drill the e-file drill with a actual nail hand um a hand file sorry you guys a coarse band um a coarse uh, hand file you can basically do the exact same thing I'm doing just use the end of it um, and the use the end of it and actually do the exact same thing to clean up your cuticle too as well and you can clean it just just see how I'm going around you could basically use the nail file to do that as well All right, you guys. So I wanted to show you guys how I use the cuticle pusher. You guys, for those of you who would like to know how to use it and how to actually line, align it up with your nails and push your cuticle back, just prepping it so you could go through it to clean up the cuticle. You can do this before you actually use either a hand file to do it or you can use your e-file drill of your choice and yeah, so this is how I actually uh, push back my cuticles. And you can use the other end to clean inside of the uh, underneath your nails to get any dirt or anything that's underneath your nails. So right now, we're going to go ahead and shape the nails. So I'm going to shape these nails real good. And then after I shape the nails, then we're going to go to the next step of adding everything else to the nail which is acrylic and um after we have we definitely be we you guys definitely 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 need to put on your nails a dehydrator dehydrate is good because it removes all of the oils and stuff to the nails you definitely want to use a dehydrator and you want to use a primer that definitely will help so after we finish filing these nails, then we're going to go ahead and go through the steps, okay? All right. So we are already shaped out our nails how we want it. We already pushed back the cuticle. Just want to show you guys the cuticle. I'm going to use clear powder acrylic. And this is it right here. And this is the dehydrator and my primer. So... They have different dehydrator and primer you can use. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be with underneath the same brand. Um, that's just my opinion. I re you know, you know, you can use of your choice, but definitely make sure that you have a dehydrator and a primer because I feel that the dehydrator and the primer is a definitely that's the most important thing to have with, um, when you're actually doing your acrylic to your nails you definitely need that so we're gonna use the 
acrylic brush as a guide for the um, bonding um, acrylic liquid, you guys. That's what I was doing using the acrylic brush to guide the liquid into the dapping dish. Sorry, guys, I'm just a little tongue twisted today. I don't know what's going on, but I am tongue twisted. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and get everything together here. So as you can see, I'm putting the dehydrator on the nails. Just be careful to not get it all over. You don't want it to be running all over the nails. You just want to just apply just a, a nice amount to the nails, like a small amount around the cuticle area right there. Not too close to the cuticle. Just It's almost like you're painting it just a little bit. Okay, after you put the dehydrator, you go ahead and do your primer, which I'm showing you guys. I'm putting the primer on now. So now we're going to get started on the nails. Okay, you don't want to take too much off the brush, too much liquid off the brush. So basically I'm that, that, uh, sorry you guys, dipping <laughs> my acrylic brush into the monomer and applying the acrylic to my nails and we're just basically going in a motion. You put it on, but you wanna kinda like dragging the acrylic down the nail. So I'm holding my nail down, facing down to facing down to the table itself as I was putting it on so that it definitely can roll just a little bit and as I guide it with the acrylic brush. And you wanna make sure you wipe your brush off too as well. Okay, and you do the same thing again with the, the other nail, all the way down. You do all the nails the exact same way. Now, I like my nails to be thick, but not so thick to the point that it's like very bulky, you guys. So you got to... You know, just basically, you know, you gradually as you learn how to do it, you realize, you know, if you're doing it too bulky or not too much, you know. And it took me a little while to actually learn how much to apply, um, how much liquid I needed on the brush. It takes time. So once you guys learn how to do it or whatnot, don't beat yourself up. It, it took me a while to actually learn how to do all of these things. I really took my time to the time and patient. You need to have patience. So it took me um, time and patient to get it, you know, took my time. And I said, you know what, I'm going to sit at home and do this myself because I feel that, you know, you do it yourself. I mean, and you learn how to do it and get it the way you can get it the way you want it to be when you do it yourself. A, it would take time for you to get there when you do it yourself, but at least you know you're doing it and you know how you want it to look. So you're going to make sure it's the way you would like for it to look. And yeah, you guys, I enjoy doing my own nails. Um, when I used to go get it done and so forth, the amount you will spend to do your nails, you can just do it at home. And I'm like, you know what? I can actually do these nails at home. Let me, let me do a little some things here, you know? So some of these things you can get off of Amazon for a reasonable price, you guys. And some of these stuff you can get from the hair store, you guys, like, like, um, 
the monomer uh, you can get clear acrylic and some colors by different hair stores they do sell it in hair stores now I don't know they I don't know if they have other hair stores that may have very little of things but I know in some they do that I know that I have been to that actually sells um, products for acrylic and, and so forth to do a nail set it'll come with uh, white tips or regular tips you know that you could start with uh, I also come with extensions nail extensions sticker they might come in there as well some do some don't and it also will give you like a little dapping dish and a brush uh, acrylic brush will give you and it would also give you um, you get like a little foul you know so you have like little stuff that it give you that you need just for that or you guys you definitely can go to um, uh, Sally's Sally's also have little kits as well if you are watching this video and you see that I had a video with four in one that is also that's um, another video I do have on my channel if you wanted to check that out that one I got that kit from Sally's beauty store so that had everything in it um, that basically came with a dehydrator it came with a primer it came with nail extension stickers it came with um, a set of nails um, regular nails and it came with a uh, French um, a white white nails would do what you could do for French tip nail tip you can have that in there it had uh, nail glue it had um, a orange stick the orange stick that you could use to do the, to push back your cuticles it had a nail file in there it had the instructions of course and it had a dapping dish in there and your little brush now if the brush now some people can do it with the brush that comes in there but I didn't use mine's I mean you know you 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 basically work with what you got you okay but if you don't like the way it works you could try buying another one to go with it but I did not like the brush that came with it because I'm telling you the brush looked like it was just it was just doing too much you know it wasn't like it was all over the place I was losing some of the hair for the um some of the the brush was coming apart it, it was just it was a mess okay that's all i gotta say ain't no excuse for that it's a mess so i had to use a different brush but yes it, it will work so if you would like to try that and start off from using that is a little kit that already comes with everything in there and it also comes with um clear acrylic in a little small little um container and it also comes with um the pink pink powder that it comes in there as well so it comes with two of those and then it comes with the rest of the stuff and you have your monomer in there too so which is good all of that fits in that one that one container all of that fits in that one container and it's really nice so you guys, if you want to check that out, you definitely can go on there and check the video so you can see what I'm talking about. Or I can look it up and actually, you know what, mm, I think that'd be a good idea. I think I'll put it up maybe to my right, a picture of how it actually looked. And you can look it up. And you know what, you definitely can find on Amazon. You sure can. So you, if you don't want to go to Sally's, because Sally's, you know, you might not want to go to them or you might not want to go to Amazon, whatever your choice is, but both of them do sell it. You know, Amazon pretty much got everything, you guys. And when I say almost everything, everything, you know, what can you not find on Amazon? So, yeah. Um, so you could definitely check Amazon out with that. And, um, yeah, you guys. So I um, just wanted to share with y'all uh, how I do this and just chit chat with you guys and, you know, talk to you guys about the products and the little stuff that I get and how I um, use it and how, you know, it is and 
where you can actually get certain things and majority of the stuff I will get it from hair stores or I will get it from Amazon or I'll get it from Sally's or you know it's like yeah, any place that I know like um that sells different stuff like for nails and hair I'll go get there you know if I find out they sell it I go there but yeah mostly Amazon and Sally's is, is in a beauty store is where I would normally get most of my stuff. So now we're go basically going back into my nails now and just reshaping it up a little bit and buffing it. And I'm gonna do that for all of the nails, reshaping it up and buffing it, you guys. And I'm also going to uh, show you guys the color that I will be using on my nails. You guys, I'm gonna actually put it up on the screen and I will put it in the description box. Um, I know you guys probably noticed that I have been getting um, a little messages from people that I know they sent it to my phone. So just wanted to let you guys know because they've been like, hey girl, you've been saying that you was gonna put this stuff in. So um, just wanna let you guys know throughout the video, you know that I did have a few that I need to get on to put some stuff on it, but don't worry, I'll get to them. It's gonna take me a little time because I have been posting the videos. I've been posting videos like nonstop, just posting all of the videos that's been done and I've been recording and then going back and basically editing all the videos and sending them out to you guys and I haven't got a chance to put everything in the description box but just bear with me the majority of the things I do put on the screen so you guys can see what it is so I will put the name of the color that I will be using on the screen so you guys can see um and yeah Ooh. If y'all haven't already seen it in the beginning, I did put the name on the screen already in the beginning of the video. But if you haven't seen the name of the color, I will put it up again. Okay. Now we're gonna go back and do the same steps that I did before cleaning around, going around to the cuticle part and getting all of the excess of the acrylic that is right there. You just wanna just shape it all the way around over there. And that's what I'm getting ready to do. So, yeah. Yeah, so I just want to show you guys how I'm doing that. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you guys enjoy um, this video a little bit. And then I'll step back on you guys to talk to you guys towards the ending of the video. I will be back on. Just wanted you guys to enjoy the video a little bit. And I just wanted to chat with you guys for a little bit in between the video, you guys. So I'll let you enjoy and then I will be right back, okay?
All right, you guys. So, I just want to show you guys the finished look of the nails. I also want to put a picture at the end of the video as well. So, you guys can see how it looked. Well, for my hands, and it came out pretty good. I really like the color. It looks like a pearl color to me, you guys. It it do. It really do. I just I like. I really like these nails. And it came out really good. So, you guys, if you have reached to this point of the video and you would like to see your girl Allie, okay, put more content out for you guys, and you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification, you guys. That way, that every Saturday and Sunday, when videos are uploaded, you will be the first to be noticed of the videos that will be posted, you guys. Um, also, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up to show your girl uh, some love. And don't forget to share this video to anyone who is interested in learning any of the things with the nails and so forth, you guys. And also drop your girl a comment down below, down below. All right, you guys, I enjoy, enjoy talking to you guys and seeing you guys and showing you guys today how I actually did my nails and do my fill-in you guys I definitely will see each and every one of you guys tomorrow which is Sunday bye everyone